Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video. Actually, my first video on Arrow Season 7. It's going to take a while for me to get used to saying that. Um, but yeah, we're up to Season 7 now. So just quickly, if you want to help out with some Arrow videos in the break, so between you know the end of Season 6 and the beginning of Arrow Season 7, uh, be sure to stick around until the end of the video to help me out with that. So Arrow is done and dusted for another season after yesterday's finale for season 6, which I enjoyed quite a lot personally. The finale wrapped up some storylines, but also pushed some other ones along, and in some parts of the, of the finale it actually created new ones. Towards the beginning of the finale, we saw Ricardo Diaz talking to Anatoly Kanayazev inside of his car. Ricardo was like very suspicious of Anatoly and his whereabouts during the siege on Star City Police Department. But this was when Ricardo Diaz brought up a group known as the Longbow Hunters who were helping him out. Now, when Anatoly brought this up to Oliver and the other members of Team Arrow, they knew of them, and apparently the last member died around the 1950s. But obviously there is a new batch calling themselves the Longbow Hunters and are around Ricardo Diaz and are helping him out in some way. The fact that they were name dropped and are, you know, with Diaz hinted that we could see them in that finale, but that wasn't to be the case. This name drop and sort of like short explanation of the Longbow Hunters was all like set up for next season where it was confirmed by showrunner Mark Guggenheim that they would indeed feature. But who are the Longbow Hunters, which individuals are a part of them, and how will they feature into season 7 of Arrow? Well, let's go over all of that. Now, the first use of the term or the name Longbow Hunters was way back in the late 1980s when Mike Grell released a three-part miniseries entitled simply Green Arrow, The Longbow Hunters, which, to keep it simple, involved Oliver Queen moving his life from Star City to Seattle, because that's where Black Canary actually lived. And while there, he got involved in the local crime, and by that... I don't mean he was, uh, you know, getting involved with it and, uh, you know, uh, pushing drugs or anything like that. By that, I mean he was stopping it, which then leads to him getting involved with even, uh, even bigger things, such as serial killers and stuff like that, which then went on to involve him with a character that we are familiar with because we watch Arrow, uh, we haven't seen it for a while, and that character is Shader, or Shadow, however you want to pronounce it. But what the show of Arrow is going for with the Longbow Hunters is actually the group from the New 52 run of Green Arrow in DC Comics. In this, the Longbow Hunters were brought together by Richard Dragon, or as the show calls the character, Ricardo Diaz, as you would have seen throughout my reviews of Season 6, Sometimes I called him Richard Dragon, sometimes I called him Ricardo Diaz, because my inner Green Arrow comic fan uh, just keeps calling him Richard Dragon, I guess. And the villains who were a part of the Longbow Hunters were Brick, Count Vertigo, Killer Moth, and Red Dart. And even, uh, I think, Clock King gets involved from memory. In this story in the comics, the Longbow Hunters were assembled and sent after Green Arrow after Ricardo Diaz places a $30 million bounty on Green Arrow's head. Diaz was so set on taking down Green Arrow as his father was killed by Green Arrow, but what was revealed throughout the story was that it was actually John Diggle suited up as Green Arrow who killed his father. So that was a pretty big reveal at the time, um, and I thought they might have done that this season with Arrow. They sort of played with that thing from the comics, but they never went there. Uh, maybe they could do that next season. Someone close to Diaz, you know, Diggle dressed up as Green Arrow. We'll never know. But as I was saying before, Mark Guggenheim, the now former executive producer and showrunner of Arrow, after handing over the reins to Beth Schwartz for season seven, was very clear in saying that the Longbow, uh, the Longbow Hunter, sorry, would have a presence next season, likening their reference tonight to one previous villain reference in the form of Damien Dark back in season three. Now, this is exactly what he had to say. I will say that the reference to the Longbow Hunters is us planting a flag, much the same way we referenced Damien Dark in the season three finale. We would be not nice people to name drop the Longbow Hunters and not see them in season seven. In regards to who will be on the Longbow Hunters come next season, we know there are three members. They say there will be three people on this team, and you would have to think that at least two of these members, or at least two of these members, sorry, will be new characters that we have never seen on the show before or in this, you know, in this universe at all. So due to that, I would have Killer Moth and Red Dart on the Longbow Hunters for the show. With that, you can make Red Dart a female and diversify a bit, and Killer Moth is, you know, fairly cool, I guess, and he's connected to Batman in some way in the comics. He um, is in a story with Green Arrow, I think Diggle as well, and Batman. But in regards to that third and final member, that is up for grabs. They could use Brick in the show, like in the comics. We have had Brick a few times on the show, or Danny Brickwell, who was last seen in season four from memory. I think he was part of Hive and what they were doing in that season. But they might want to go with someone who is a bit more cinematic, if you want to call it, but also a bit of a, a matchup for our main hero in the form of Green Arrow. So 
Due to that, I would actually go with another character we have seen in the past, and that is Simon LaCroix, aka Komodo. Komodo was a character that was used in a fairly poor way in the show back in season three, I think it was. So it would be nice to see some sort of redeeming appearance by the character. He doesn't have to be the main focus. He just has to be a part of this group and do his job. And that's what these people do. They are assassins and mercenaries. They get paid to do this, to kill, to kidnap, all the, you know, the dirty work. But now onto how they factor into next season. This is once again up for debate and something that we will be really, well, that will be really hard to predict until we get a hint as to what's going on with Ricardo Diaz come next season. I would be very surprised if Ricardo Diaz were to be the villain for the entirety of season seven, again, like we saw in season six. But at the same time, I can't see the Longbow Hunters being the big bad for season seven either, which some people have been saying could be the case. So, if I was going to make a bold decision and prediction, I would probably say that the group will just be with Diaz for the first half of the season, and then all will fall down before another big bad takes the reins and becomes a pain in the ass for the heroes of Star City. Early on in Season 7, it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if the other members of Team Arrow, so Diggle, Dinah, uh, Wild Dog, etc., are all dealing with the longbow hunters throughout Star City. So they're causing mayhem and just doing some stuff. And this would be due to the fact that Ricardo Diaz is sort of, well, confined following the events of the season six finale. He would need others to do the dirty work for him. Now, if they, you know, as in the longbow hunters aren't the villains and Ricardo Diaz isn't the villain, then who is the villain? Well, like I've been saying before, we will have to wait and see. The Quadrant is still a part of the show. That's still a thing. Um, Ricardo Diaz might be a part of that in secret, get another member, maybe that other member is a big, uh, character, another big villain, they could be like the head person, maybe it's someone like Lady Shiva, the thing that gets in the way of Lady Shiva being the villain is the fact that I think Gotham is using Lady Shiva in their final season, I haven't watched their finale yet while making this video, so she might show up in the finale, leading into the next season, um, but apparently Gotham's using Lady Shiva, so that could limit Arrow in doing that. But if you have any other suggestions as to who Arrow could use in this as a season seven villain that isn't obviously Ricardo Diaz or the Longbow Hunters or anything that I've said in this video, let me know in the comments. But around Comic-Con, we might get more information on that side of the season. We might not, just due to the fact that they might want us to think that Ricardo Diaz is still going to be the villain for this season and, you know, not spoil it. Uh, but then again, they might give us like a little bit of a hint as to what's going on in regards to the villain side of things for season seven. Another quick option, I guess, to chuck in in regards to the villain is that maybe it could be someone that Oliver interacts with in prison. Maybe Oliver annoys someone. That's a bit of a stretch. It would be a bit too personal, I think. Um, so maybe that might, might not be the best option. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, if you want to help out with some Arrow videos in the off season, this is your time to help. So just let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions or things you would like made into videos for Arrow in the off season or at least leading up to Comic-Con, whether it be from season six and some unanswered questions or some stuff that you would you, you, you would like to see in season seven that you would like me to go over. So just, 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 just leave any of those um, you know suggestions in the comment section down below. It would be awesome to see. And um, yeah, but thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome. If you could drop a like and it to show your support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions on everything I've gone over in this video. Um, yeah, it's all that good stuff. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.